Back with the other major story tonight people have been following. Calls are getting louder this evening for Democratic Virginia Governor Ralph Northam to resign after these racist photos from 1984 surfaced just today. Pictures were published in the Eastern Virginia Medical School yearbook. They show a man in blackface, another person in a KKK robe. Northam confirmed earlier this evening he is one of the people in the photo. We don't know which one, and to state the obvious here, if it's a choice between blackface and a KKK robe, it's not like one is any less offensive than the other. Northam apologized in a statement. He said in part, quote, I'm deeply sorry for the decision I made to appear as I did in this photo and for the hurt that decision caused then and now. Northam followed up on that statement with a hastily made video tonight in which he makes clear he doesn't intend to resign at this point. I cannot change the decisions I made, nor can I undo the harm my behavior caused then and today. But I accept responsibility for my past actions, and I am ready to do the hard work of regaining your trust. Many big-name Democrats have started calling on Northam to resign. One of his predecessors, former Governor Terry McAuliffe, his fellow Democratic Governor Phil Murphy of New Jersey did so on the air here tonight with Chris Hayes. California Democratic Senator Kamala Harris also says he should go. And this from the president of the NAACP, and we quote, Blackface in any manner is always racist and never okay. No party, no matter the party affiliation, we cannot stand for such behavior, which is why the NAACP is calling for the resignation of Virginia Governor Ralph Northam. With us tonight to talk about all of it, Ben Jealous, the former president and CEO of the NAACP and a former Democratic candidate for governor of the state of Maryland, and Jonathan Allen, also with us, NBC News national political reporter. Gentlemen, welcome to you both. Ben, I'd like to begin with you. This obviously sure, comes to us from the seat of the Confederacy, but this, this is not from a long ago era of Lester Maddox, making this almost worse is the time frame of these photos. You had Doug Wilder running for lieutenant governor, ultimately governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. You had Jesse Jackson running for president as a national candidate. What do you think, Ben, should happen here? He just has to step down and he should go into churches on uh, Sunday morning and he should apologize to the people of the state. But he should also apologize to black people very, very clearly. You know, this is a profound lack of judgment, this whole coon man po you know, posing that he did. But then you go beyond that and you say, wait a second, if he had character, he wouldn't have done it. If he had courage, he would have apologized in the years since in his many campaigns for many offices. At some point, he would have come forward and apologized. And if he had candor, then he would tell us which one he was. And he's been cute about that, too. So he's just failed. You know, my family comes from that state. That was our ancestral home. People want leaders who have character, who have courage, and who will be candid with them. And he is none of that in this moment. Jonathan Allen, what do you reckon is going to happen here? Does he survive tonight, tomorrow, the weekend? If he was in the private sector, Brian, he would have been fired several hours ago. He is on the public payroll in Virginia. I do not see how this is politically survivable for him. I mean, he could sit in that office, but the calls for him to resign are going to continue to cascade. This is not something that's going to go away for him. It is not it is not imaginable that he is going to be able to regain some sort of credibility uh, with voters in Virginia, with Democratic voters in Virginia, with Republican voters in Virginia. Um, so I, I think it's only a matter of time. The writing seems to be on the wall for the governor. Obviously, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't, you know, as a reporter, make any calls for me. But just watching uh, how this is unfolding, uh, he's not going to I don't think he's going to be able to recover from this. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.